JavaScript is a wonderful tool that can do a lot. In fact, these days, it seems like there's little you can't do with JavaScript, especially in the realm of web design. That being said, it can be argued that all this power has been weaponized, and it has implications for the rest of us. First are the security risks. JavaScript can be used to load data via AJAX or by manipulating tags that load data, like image tags, object tags, script tags, and so on. Attacks like this are called cross-site script attacks, since they inject JavaScript that's not part of the site into visitors' browsers. When website authors become careless and leave these vulnerabilities, the result can be anything from the website being defaced, site visitors having their personal information revealed or stolen, and more. You can find out more about cross-site scripting attacks in the course Programming Foundations Web Security. Next are performance issues. Many websites, especially larger commercial websites, include JavaScript to pull and display ads and tracking scripts to gather information on their visitors' behaviors and activities, some of which are quite invasive for our privacy. These scripts are often large and, of course, need to be downloaded, which takes valuable time. Include very many of them, and page load times start to balloon, resulting in slow, poor performance. Keeping JavaScript lean is vital for good performance and user experience. Beware of using lots of scripts. Your visitors' and customers' time and attention is very valuable. There's more information on optimizing websites for better performance in the course's Vanilla JavaScript Web Performance Optimization APIs and Learning Enterprise Web Application Performance, among others. The result of these kind of issues is that JavaScript can be blocked, sometimes entirely, often partially. Content blockers on mobile and desktop browsers can try to block advertising and tracking scripts from ever loading, and some will take more aggressive steps to try to protect user privacy. There are institutional firewalls that may block some or all of your JavaScript, and of course, some users may simply opt out, disabling JavaScript as a feature of their browsers. Not many in the grand scheme of things, but enough that you should be aware of it. All of this is to say, Feel free to use JavaScript, but be attentive and judicious about it. Be especially careful when using JavaScript to display data users have entered, and when adding plugins or libraries so as not to slow your site down so much. And keep in mind that not all users will have JavaScript available or turned on.